<sighs> you know, when you do crap like this, it's not easy to tell if you're being funny or just stupid. If you're aiming for funny, be advised that the level of ignorance displayed rates it somewhere on the humor scale between a burning hotel and a dental appointment. If you're being stupid, which is where my vote is, well, I haven't the slightest idea where you get these ideas about magic sperm from. Unless you borrowed some doctrine from Joseph Smith and filtered it through a five-year-old. Let's get right to the point. The critical description is here in Luke 135, and there are two key words. The first is this one. Now, I know your little juvenile mind is working overtime here, but no, there were no sexual connotations to it. As you can see by the parallel example involving the Holy Spirit, the meaning is little more than a sense of arrival at a location. The second word is this one, and this is really the key to the whole thing. The second passage is an example of how it was used elsewhere by Luke. The third and fourth passages are what scholars suggest Luke was alluding to. Either one would indicate that what was happening with Mary didn't involve magic sperm, but an act of divine creative fiat. The spirit was God's hypostatic principle of action and life-giving creation, and that's what defines the conception of Jesus, not your grade school permutation. Well, you think you can get your mind out of the gutter and be a little more sophisticated next time? Nah, I like it down here. <sighs> Guess he has to go where his fan base lives. <laughs> <laughs>